What's up everybody? Welcome back to my LEGO Indiana Jones Let's Play. Today we're going to be getting all 10 artifacts and the parcel for Trouble in the Sky. Let's get right into it. To begin, artifact number one, you're going to want to switch to a high jumping character. So a female, hop up in this little section up here and then switch to a character with an explosive. Shoot it to the right side and break the casing on this uh, thing right here and then grab the artifact. Artifact number two will be once you are back, or not back, but on the ground. Once you are over this, I don't know if we can just jump over. We cannot, so I will be back when I'm over there. All right, now we should be able to get over there. There we go. <laughs> All right, once we're over here, switch to Indiana Jones. Pull this thing down. Climb up the ladder. Hop up on this rooftop and then onto this other rooftop. And destroy this clock tower. Don't need that just yet. Build the clock back up. Now we can grab this gear and hop on down. We will need it to continue the story, but we don't need it for this. Switch to a bazooka character and destroy the silver object right here. Grab the key from it. Run up the stairs to these buildings and put it in the slot right here. And then start turning it. I actually don't know if this has... To, okay, you just turn until it stops and then the door opens for you. Artifact number three will be once you enter this next section after you fix this lever, just head to the other end of it. And you're going to be playing as... Indy for this. So just ignore everything you can for now. Once you get to this like water tower, get under it, use your whip and kind of open it up. Grab this blue thing that uh, drops out of it. <clears throat> and then come over to this door over here and just, just place the handle on it. I'm not the bazooka character. I was trying to shoot him. But anyways, this door should open and artifact will be right inside of it. Next up is going to be the parcel, which is treasure magnet. Once you get over here, you're going to see this tractor right here. You want to drive this backwards where we came from and there's going to be three areas where you want to drive it over first one's going to be right here at this little arc if i can drive this up so drive it over that little red thing i highly recommend doing it the way i am doing it right here because if you don't if you destroy them before like as you go on i guess you have to carry the parcel all the way through which is very slow and annoying so there's the second one this thing is very slow and annoying. Last one's going to be right here on the other end of this whole section. Okay, you have to go around this wall apparently. Turn around. Okay, there. Now drive over this, hop on out, and then now you start destroying them. You see the one out of three right there. Two out of three for this one. And then finally three out of three for this one. So once that is done, you pick up the parcel, walk it back to where you got the uh, tractor from and then just place it inside the box. Artifact number four will be in this next area. You just want to destroy this rock and switch to a small character to go through this little hatch and the artifact will be right at the top. For artifact number five, you just want to hop down from there and make your way around this, these walls. Once you're through it, head around this little corner and then back up this hill and then switch to a character with a book to do this little puzzle. Let me just collect these real quick. Once you do that, a little railing will appear here. Just jump up and go across them and artifact will be right up top. Artifact number six from this last one, we just hop on down, go through this little archway, switch to a female character, and then hop up on this little wagon, wagon kind of thing, and then pull this lever up here. Should open up this little like garage door looking thing, and then you just hop on down and grab it. Artifact number seven will be in this beat beach uh, section once you get down at the hill and you gotta look for these birds just hop on up this little rock these rock steps bleh, can't speak up this ladder grab onto this railing and then just jump your way like upwards towards like the highest spot that you can uh -oh. right there and then artifact will be right there artifact number eight from the spot where you get the second set of birds all you got gotta do is jump off this right side and hidden behind this rock is the artifact 
Power fact number three is going to be a little bit longer. We're going to want to switch to a character with a shovel and dig up three of these sand castles. First one's right here, right next to where the last artifact was. Next one, we're going to want to head right. And it's going to be right in front of this big boulder right here. After that one, we're going to head to the left even more. And then dig up this little chest thing right here. Smack it so it drops a key for you. Grab the key, take it over to this little key slot right here. Twist it to create these stairs. And then hop over this section. If I can go up the stairs correctly. Hop over here. And then just keep making your way left and stay on the sand and you'll find the last uh, sand castle. Artifact number 10 is probably the coolest in my opinion. Maybe even in this game, but you just want to come over here to this area and jump across these rocks in the water. After you get here, there's going to be four blue coins for you to pick up. And then you just make your way up the side of this cliff on these rocks and the artifact will be right there. And it has a nice little pretty view of the ocean. All right, and now do for this episode. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.